Hello, and thank you again for listening and watching Do's of the Word Bible Fellowship. We are in the midst of teaching a wonderful uh, story from God's Word, the Holy Bible, that's called Hidden in the Tent. And this is part four, and it's based on Joshua chapter seven. And we're learning about how a man uh, from the tribe of Israel caused Joshua and the nation to lose a battle against a very small uh, nation called I. And the reason why is because Achan had taken the, some of their cursed things. He had deceived and lied and stole. He had uh, coveted some, uh, some garments and some gold and silver and, and hidden them inside his tent. So we're going to continue reading and see what the result's going to be for someone like that who coveted things in their heart has this uh, desire and longing and, and lust for other things that belong to someone else and also at the same time disobeying God's commandments, laws, and statutes. Starting in verse 22 of Joshua chapter 7, so Joshua sent messengers and they ran to the tent and there it was hidden in his tent with the silver under, under it. Verse 23, and they took them from the midst of the tent, brought them to Joshua and to all the children of Israel, and laid them out before the Lord. So Joshua is being obedient to the Lord God, Yahweh Elohim. He's, he's uh, performing this uh, event to, in front of all the people of Israel. It's laid out there. They see what Achan had taken and laid it and brought it all to the Lord and to the Israelites, to the people. And, and, and saw what he had taken, uh, the cursed things that he should not have taken because the Lord God told him not to do this. It was uh, disobeying the Lord God Almighty. Verse 24, then Joshua and all Israel with him took Achan, the son of Zerah, the silver, the garment, the wedge of gold, his sons, his daughters, his oxen, his donkeys, his sheep, his tent, and all that he had, and they brought him to the valley of Achor. So this is happening publicly in front of all the people of Israel. They all went with Joshua, and they took Achan and all his possessions, everything, even what he had taken and stolen and deceived and lied about, that the cursed thing that he was not supposed to have taken. And let's continue reading verse 25. And Joshua said, Why have you troubled us? The Lord will trouble you this day. So all Israel stoned him with stones. And they burned them with the fire after they had stoned them with stones. We see here that the Lord God, Yahweh Elohim, told Joshua to get rid of their cursed things. Not only the material of cursed things, but the person who disobeyed purposely and went away from following God's commandments. In verse 26, then they raised over him a great heap of stones, still there to this day. So the Lord turned from the fierceness of his anger Therefore, the name of that place has been called the Valley of Achor to this day. So we see in verse 26 that the Lord God Almighty, anger of fierceness, had turned away from Joshua and the Israelites because they had been obedient and getting rid of their cursed things. You may say, well, this is horrible. This is harsh. They kill the person. Well, they will obey the, the directions and the guidance of the Lord God Almighty, Yahweh. This was important because they had somebody inside their camp who were purposely deceitful and lying and breaking and, and the God, Lord uh, Yahweh's statutes. And they, they had a wrong spirit, the wrong spirit of coveting. That's one, one of the many of the Ten Commandments is not to covet and not to desire anything that belongs to your neighbor or don't, not desire a, a neighbor's wife or anything that the neighbor has. You're not supposed to desire what somebody else has because it's, it's, the coveting will cause a person to become sinful. And we're going to end with this part of the teaching, and we continue on to the next session of Hidden in the Tent. God bless you, keep you, protect you. In Jesus' name, amen. Blessings.